Hello everyone, I'm Neha from iExam here. Friends, do subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon so that you can get the latest updates with respect to the upcoming government exams. And in case if you have any queries with respect to the online courses we provide for the preparation of these government exams, you can contact us on the email ID that is displayed on the screen or you can call us. Or you can even visit our website for the complete details. So friends, do subscribe and stay tuned. Today in this video, I'll be discussing about the Indian Contract Act 1872 and under the, this, I'll be discussing about communication and revocation of offer and acceptance. Before I proceed ahead with the topic, I would like to update you that we at iExamly, we are providing a foundation batch for the IBPS SO exam preparation for the ITA for Marketing, HR, Law and Raj Sabha. And in this daily free sessions at 11 a.m. we are have sessions for the prelims preparation of IBPS SO, IBPS PO, SBI PO. At 3 p.m. we are having sessions for the main preparation of the IBPS, SO, HR, IT and Marketing and at 7 p.m. the sessions are being conducted for the main preparation of the IBPS, SO, Law, AFO, Rajya Sabha. So friends, you can stay tuned to our channel and avail this opportunity of daily free sessions for the IBPS SO Foundation batch for the different domains. Moving to our topic, first we'll be looking at the communication of offer. So the communication of an offer that is considered to be complete when it comes to the knowledge of the person to whom it is actually made. So we know that in our contract there are two parties, one is the offer and the other is the offering. So basically when the offering has the knowledge about the offer, then it is said that there is a communication of offer and it is complete. Like if A, he is proposing by a letter that he wants to sell his house to B at a certain price or amount, then the communication of the proposal or offer that is considered to be complete when B, who is the offer, he receives the letter. And B, proposal which is given by A by a letter which he sends by post. Now looking on to the communication of Acceptance, we can see that the communication of acceptance that is completed in two phases basically. The first one is uh, against the proposal or the offer and that is uh, considered to be complete when actually it is put in the course of transmission to him and that is done by the acceptor so that it is actually out of the power of the acceptor so that he can withdraw it. On the other hand, the communication of acceptance that is considered to be complete against the acceptor when the proposer or the offer he actually acquires the very knowledge of such acceptance. So if we take this example further over here, we can see that the communication of the acceptance that is actually complete against the A who is the offer when the letter is posted and against B when the letter is received by A. Looking on to the communication of revocation of offer, so the once the offer is made that can be revoked by the party and that revocation when is it considered to be communicated so the communication of the revocation of the offer that is considered to be done at any time which is before the communication of its acceptance is complete against the offerer and then communication of revocation of acceptance that is considered to be complete when it actually comes to the knowledge of the Offer. In this, if we take this example where A, he is proposing by a letter that he wants to sell his house to B at a certain price. Now, A, he revokes his proposal by a telegram. 
So in this case, the revocation that will be considered to be complete as against A when the telegram is being dispatched and it is complete with respect to B when he actually receives it. Now B, he revokes his acceptance by a telegram and the uh, revocation is considered to be complete against B when the telegram is being dispatched and against A when he actually receives it. Now, time of revocation and of also uh, uh, to when the parties have the option that they can revoke the offer and acceptance. So, with respect to the offer, um, that can be revoked at any time which is before the communication of the acceptance that is complete against the offer but not afterwards or it cannot be done later and time of revocation of acceptance so acceptance that can be revoked at any time which is before the communication of the acceptance that is complete as against the acceptor but then not later or afterwards. Now, taking the same example, continuing with that, we can see that uh, A, he proposed that uh, he wants to sell his house to B and he does so by a letter which he posts. B accepts the proposal by a letter which he sends by post. Now, A, who is the offer, he may revoke his proposal at any time before at the moment when B actually posts his letter of acceptance but not afterwards, not later than that, uh, the offer can be revoked by A and B who is the offer, he may revoke his acceptance that can be done by him at any time which is before or at the moment when the letter communicating it actually reaches A but he cannot do that later on or afterwards. With respect to the communication and revocation of offer and acceptance, now taking that concept on, in this pictorial form, we can see that the, the offer, A who is the offer, he sends a letter by a post that he wants to sell his house at a certain price to B who is the offering. So he, is, uh, he posts his letter on 1st of January 2021. That letter reaches B on 8th of January 2021. So the communication of offer that is considered to be complete on 8th of January 2021, the date or the day when the offer is made aware or gets the knowledge of the offer being made to him. Now the offer he actually posts his acceptance on 10th of January 2021 which reaches A on 15th of January 2021. Now the communication of acceptance that is considered to be complete with respect to a who is the offer on 10th of January, okay? So, ten, on 10th of January, the communication of acceptance that is considered to be complete with respect to the A who is the offer and with respect to B who is the offer, the communication of uh, acceptance that is considered to be complete on 15th of January 2021 when the acceptance, letter of acceptance that reaches the offer. Now the parties, they have made the offer and given their acceptance, they can revoke the same. So uh, how um, or till when they have the option to do that? So A who is the offer, he can revoke his offer before 10th of January 2021. And B who is the offer, he has the option of revoking his acceptance uh, between 10th of January to 15th of January but not afterwards so till 15th of january acceptance can be revoked by the offering so friends this was all about the concept or the topic for today's discussion before i end i would like to inform you that the Thai family we are providing a flat 40 percent off for the first 50 enrollments for the ibpsso Exclusive online course for the IT, AFO, Marketing, HR, Law and Rajya Sabha. So friends, you can use the coupon code IBPS40 and avail this opportunity of getting yourself enrolled for this exclusive online course and also availing this uh, flat 40% of offer. And for this, you can contact us on the phone number that is displayed on the screen or you can visit our website so friends hurry up as there is limited 
seeds for this offer to be availed. I would like to remind you that we are also providing the live sessions or the live classes uh, for the law subjects, uh, the fresh batch for which started on 8th of November and you can see the schedule with the respect to the topics or the paths which are being taken and a certain number of lectures are being dedicated for these so in the month of november we have approximately 16 lectures in which we in the month of december we are having 18 lectures again they are with respect to the different acts and lastly, in the month of January, we have 21 lectures. So, by the middle of January, we will be covering the syllabus for the mains examination. So, friends, until this opportunity, you can hurry up and get yourself enrolled uh, for this fresh batch. You can get yourself guided by the expert faculties who are there to help you out at every stage of your preparation. So friends, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon because we at iExamB, we believe in making your government exam preparations easy. Thank you.